Hello, this is BT Plays here. Welcome back to the channel. And we are on F1 23. Yes, I thought I'd switch up things a little bit. Uh, had a little bit of a break, but we're back. And I thought we may as well see what F1 23 is all about. And this is my first time playing this game. I literally just downloaded it. So we're going to see how bad we we are at this game. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Uh, how do you even play? Is it on F1 World? I just want to do a quick race just to show the world how how good I really am. Here we go. Grand Prix. Um, I don't know any good circuits. Nothing. So I guess Bahrain is an easy track apparently. So we'll just go for Bahrain. Um, we'll go... Uh, I mean, it's our first race. We could go with someone like Max Verstappen. I know he's literally insane in real life. Um, but we'll go for George Russell. I don't know why. Why not go for George Russell? Difficulty. I put it on 50. Just I don't know how hard it is because I think it. I don't know what it goes up to. Is it 100? I put it no 110. I've put 50 just to be safe, and we'll see if we are really actually any bad at this game again i don't really know if it's good or bad this ai difficulty but 50 is where i'm going to keep it for now just for this race um assists as well i don't really know what to put on here but if you do play f123 then tell me what to put on because i literally have no idea um but let's just go straight into the event and rules and flags i'm not gonna bother with that either this is just my first time playing F1 23, a noob playing F1 23. Right, so where are we on the grid? Okay, we're not pole. That's fine. Where's George Russell? Is this based on real life things or not? Because obviously it's a 23 season. We're fourth. That's good. We are ahead of our teammate, Lewis Hamilton, by a lot. Where is Hamilton? Ninth. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll try and bring it home for the boys, shall we? We'll try and bring it home for Mercedes. Right, okay. Am I doing this right? Okay, we're off. Okay, wow. Yeah, this is a lot different than, um, than most racing games I've played. I've got the line on as well. Don't abuse me for it. I just need to make sure I don't crash, I think, because... I know the damage in this game is pretty real. And hang on, let me quickly turn down the um, the noise and the sound. Right, I'm not deaf anymore, that's good. So let's go and try and win this race against Max Verstappen. Or Max Verstappen, as I like to call him. Let's, let's see if we can win. I don't know what my traction's on either. I think it's on, I think I put it on medium just before because I, I thought it was going to be like the Crew Motor Fest where like you don't have control over your vehicle as much if you put it on obviously less traction and that obviously feels like the right thing to do. Probably not the best thing to do as a beginner but I mean we're second, we'll take it. It definitely does feel quite easy this difficulty so I think I might have to bump it up but I definitely am not doing well at all but I'm enjoying it to be fair. I almost went off there, but no, to be fair, I am actually quite enjoying it so far. I just can't properly control my car. You can definitely see I've not played this game before. And obviously F1 fans as well tell me, is this even a good circuit to be on for a beginner? I, I, I have no clue about anything, so I'd love to know just any little tips that would help me. Um, and who knows, maybe I could turn this into a little series. But yeah. I've just always looked at F1 because a few of my mates have, have played the game so I was like, you know what, I may as well give it a chance and see what it's all about and uh, yeah, to be fair, so far it's not bad, it's just a proper simulated racing game which is um, can be fun at times and also quite frustrating as well. There's a lot of stuff I need to learn, like what the hell does this overtake button do? Like. I'm not really close range of Max Verstappen, so I don't know what it does. Does it give you like extra speed or something? Does it like I know uh, DRS is drag reduction system that opens up the um, the spoiler, but I don't know what overtake does. It's not the same thing, is it? No, 
I may as well sound really stupid then to F1 fans, but yeah. I still need to learn a lot about just everything in terms of F1, but um, I'm here for it and uh, I'm ready for the journey. But we're not doing too bad so far. We aren't doing too bad. We are second. We are three seconds behind Max Verstappen, which is, I mean, inevitable. But we're doing pretty well considering, so I will happily take that. And it's always a change because I'm so used to in racing games just taking the easiest option and cutting corners. But obviously, if you cut corners on this game, you get penalties and um, you can't obviously hit into any vehicles because it damages your vehicle and you'll probably get a penalty for that as well. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot to take in uh, considering I do all of them things on every racing game I play. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge starting off. But we've done pretty well so far, and we're lucky that we started fourth on the grid as well. We're just about to come up to lap four now, so the final, no not the final lap, sorry, one more lap after this. I don't know why I thought that was the final lap, but lap four out of five we're coming up to now. And um, I did not anticipate that one bit, that was very bad for me, very poor. But we've made it work a little bit. Pretty much in the exact same position, so it did not matter one bit. But yeah, I was thinking what other games I should play because, I mean, the Crew Motor Fest is good. I will make a whole video on the Crew Motor Fest. It might even be out by the time this is out. Um, but, yeah, I don't always want to play one game just on repeat because, one, it's not all that enjoyable for me just to play one game all the time because I like to venture out and try new stuff. And... Uh, I, well, you'll see if you watch the uh, the Crew Motor Fest video that some things just aren't as good as I thought about the game. So I'm willing to uh, to see and play other games and um, see if I enjoy them and obviously see if you guys enjoy them as well. But I will definitely hopefully be posting more. Max has slivered away here. Three seconds ahead coming up to Sector 3. I think it's Sector 3, I don't know, we're still in Sector 2, is that even Sectors, I don't know, no, yeah we are in Sector 3, okay good, we, we were, okay, we're coming up to the final lap now, are we done? No, okay, lap 5, yeah, I, I just got really confused, there. I was going to say, the checkered flag just appeared out of nowhere, but that was obviously for the next time we come around, okay, <laughs> that was a really stupid moment for me, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, we've definitely settled, I think, for second here, unless we crash or something. But considering, first race, I've not done too badly. And even though it's literally just cars going around in a track, I feel like once I obviously put up the difficulty and have a more meaningful race, like in a career or something, or an actual Grand, uh, Grand Prix, don't know why I said Grand Prix like that, Grand Prix, then it would be more, you know, meaningful and like, you feel more accomplished when you actually do come second but for now it's just like one race so it's not really all that to me but definitely if i start a career or something second would be great um but no i've enjoyed it so far would be more enjoyable like i said if there's something to aim towards but i liked it nonetheless and uh yeah tell me how i did down below i mean i did pretty well i think i just still need to learn a lot of the basics i think and when it comes to pitting and stuff like that, I am screwed. But we'll take a second any day, I think. But yep, yeah, this has been a noob playing F1 23. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. And let me know down below if you want to see more F1 23 videos. But yeah, I will see you in the next video.